Squad. Today I have for you 10 things you must always keep in mind when meeting someone special. Before we get started, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell so you know when I post a new video, become part of the Mutt Squad family. Also, like and share this video out. First, don't reveal all your cards at once. How many times have we been guilty of this? Even if you're as cool and level-headed as a jet-setting poker star. You probably let strong feelings towards someone cloud your judgment, and thereby behaving in a way that you normally wouldn't. And that isn't necess necessarily a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either. When getting to know someone we like, and possibly even love, it can be tempting to tell them how amazing they are and good and how good they make uh, us feel without us realizing um, that saying these things might make us appear quite needy and overzealous to the other person. So take it slow and do things in moderation. Tell them you think they are pretty, but don't continue to do it every time uh, they such uh, every time. They so much as take a breath. Two, tread, tread carefully on gifts and grand gestures. It is so easy to get swept away with your emotions and wear our hearts on our bank cards. By buying our newfound interest a range of extravagant gifts and treats. While this seems harmless on the surface, not, allow, not allowing yourself to stop this behavior will do the relationship no good further down the line. It sounds silly, but if you let the early stages of a courtship be defined by gifts and gifts, you are not allowing the relationship to grow normally. Most of all, you are devaluing the gesture as a nice ring or love letter if that stuff becomes a regular occurrence early on in the relationship. Three, make them feel valued, not suffocated. The next piece of advice pretty much goes hand in hand with the last two. In other words, let the relationship grow organically without you feeling you have to make a grand gesture every time you're with them. Believe it or not, many people don't always feel comfortable being seen as a god or goddess. Instead, it can make them feel uncomfortable and have them feeling like they need to live up to those lawfully expectations their partner has for them every time they are together. So be yourself, and if they're as right as you think they are, the relationship will blossom without having to play Mr. or Miss Perfect. Four, actions speak louder than words. Your parents and teachers have no doubt drilled this into your into your form and uh, from an early age, um, and for a good reason. How many times have we said? We are going to do something nice, only to forget about it 20 minutes later. Well, some, well, the same applies to a relationship. If you aren't willing to back up your words and show that special someone how special they are to you, then the wasteful and romantic, um, wistful and romantic sen sentiments coming from your mouth may as well be for nothing. So take them to their favorite art gallery, um, movie, you know, favorite beach. Um, a day after you suggest it. If art isn't their thing, take them some to see, yeah, to see a movie uh, they were talking about. As we've stated before, it does not have to be anything grand, but a little cert, cert, a, but a little certainly goes a long way. Five, don't let your day-to-day -day life f 
fail, uh, falter. Failing, falling for someone you like doesn't mean you have to watch your daily life crumble as you think about them every minute of every day, of a waking day. It is a great feeling when you find someone you connect with, and you sh should know. By, sh you sh uh, and you should by no means surprise the suppress the excitement, but at the same time, learning to contain it isn't a bad idea. You don't want to have to constantly stop every work, stop your work every ten minutes just to reply back to a text or let them know how beautiful they are. These thing, these things are best served in moderation. So don't let your professional life falter at the wayside. Six, remember that your friends still exist. Friends and partners don't have to be trade-offs. With the right time management and mindset, you can still give your all to your partner without forgetting about your friends. Of course, having a partner in your life will naturally Life will naturally see you spending more time with them than your friends, but try and but try and at least see your friends every couple of weeks um, and make a habit of doing so. If you don't have if you if you don't a time will come in the relationship when the honeymoon period is over and you find yourself naturally wanting to see them again only to find that they are distant because you chose to ignore them in favor of hanging out with your partner. 7. Don't empty your bank account. Whether you're, whether you're in, an eager to please woman, no, keen on buying expensive uh, lingerie to please your new man, or a guy who feels a burning need to pay for everything you go on, every everything every time you go on a date, it's important to remain composed and rational. Composed and rational, however hard it that may be. We've all had these intense feelings. It's perfectly natural to feel them, but don't let the honeymoon phase make you oblivious to the fact that you're probably not very well off and can't afford to empty your bank account to please them when all you truly need to do is be yourself. 8. Don't stalk their social media. I've seen a lot of people guilty of this one. We've all done it, and it's easy to, to fall into this trap. Granted, being in... in, in uh, Infatuated and excited with your new squeeze is perfectly natural if you ha happen to like them a lot. But if you're always monitoring their social media activity, like a Pavarazzi, um, or Pavarazzo, following Britney Spears to Starbucks, <laughs> you probably uh, need to take a deep breath and quit that kind of behavior. The best relationships are built on trust and occasional bouts of spontaneity. If you know their whole life story from their Instagram posts, then you're just ruining, running a phase of the ruining the, a phase of the uh, ruining a phase of the relationship that should be about getting to know them. It's also plain, <laughs> plainly creepy, so stop. It's not a good look. 9. Don't be afraid to challenge them on things you disagree with. Nobody wants to date a pushover. One of the best compl uh, uh, compliments of a health Components of a healthy relationship is passion, and you won't ex and you won't experience much if you always 
suppress your views on uh, on things to uh, appease them. Sure, you might not want to make things awkward in a debate concerning political viewpoints, um, you know, your likes or dislikes of a movie, so on and so on. But if you feel comfortable enough around them, feel free to challenge them on things you take umbrage uh, to or disagree with. If they are the right person, they'll re respect you for challenging them and offering a different take on, a cer on certain situations. And last but not least, remember to keep loving yourself as much as you love or like them. You can't for, uh, properly fall in love until you learn to love yourself. There, um, there's a song out there that talks something about that. Um, hinder, um, uh, okay. I just lost my train of thought there. Sorry about that. Um, it's hindered that one bef before right. Cliche, it's cliched as can be. Okay, that just didn't make sense, but anyway. Um, but also true, which is why you need to be fully confident in your own self-worth as a human being before you can truly give the emotions of love to another person. If you hide behind your insecurities as a ma and mask them by giving all your love and affection to your partner, you aren't going to truly feel your full worth as the lovely human being you are. So look at yourself in the mirror before each date and tell yourself these reasons why he or she wants to see you. It's because you're great just like they are. That's it for this. Um, if you liked it, please go down below, hit that subscription button and bell like and share this video out. Please check also one of these videos YouTube will put on the screen and I'll catch you in my next video.